Hey guys, welcome back to the Vulcan blog. My name is Sean Hiller. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and a certified strength conditioning specialist. And today we are talking about the couch stretch. How do we do this couch stretch? What is the couch stretch for? And how can we implement the couch stretch into our workouts, into our recovery to get the most out of it? For you guys who are here and you're just looking for how do I do the couch stretch? What are their positions? I got you. We're going to dive into those positions now. I'm going to show them to you. And then after we've gone through the couch stretch positions, I'm going to tell you more about how you can use them to facilitate your workout and to improve your body for the movements that you're trying to do. But first off, let me show you the movements. You can see the flow of all of this. So we'll go from couch rest position one to two to three. We'll start here. We're hitting the hip flexor here on the right leg. And then after our 20 pulses, we'll dive down into couch stretch position two where we're trying to get that elbow to the ground. Then we're gonna rotate. We can go through our 10 to 20 rotations here. And then finally, in this position, we're going after the posterior hip. And then finally, we'll dive in and we're gonna go through that couch pigeon. We're here, we're fluttering our knee down and fluttering up. And you can see the flow. You never really have to leave the box or the couch. And then once you finish that side, you just hop up, you switch sides and move your pad around and you can dive right back into it for whatever you're trying to do. It's very easy to go through this. Only takes you about three to four minutes to hit before you work out or after you worked out. If you're trying to go through active recovery, maybe spend a little more time in each position, but you can take three to five minutes to do this. It's not hard at all. That was couch stretch position one, two, and three. We're about to get into how you can really do those movements to open up your body up for movement and particularly squatting with these movements. We're gonna focus on that today. And also the sets and the rep schemes that you can do, walk into the gym or go into your workout setting, go in there and knock these out in three or four minutes and have your body totally prepared for whatever you're about to put it through. But before we get into that, if you have not already, please like this video, subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any opportunities to enhance what moves you. Today we are talking about the couch stretch using our lovely box here, not a couch, but we're getting it into how you can use the couch stretch to open up your hips, to do what you need to do. And we're gonna use it particularly to prep for squatting because it's such an excellent movement to do that. I'm sitting here in couch stretch position one, show you how to do them quickly, and then we'll talk about why we're doing them the way we're doing them and how you can get more out of them as you go and get ready to work out. Or if you finish working out, you're just trying to recover. These are also great recovery tools to hit after you've got your heart rate up, after you've moved. It's an excellent way to cool down and do some active recovery. Okay, so couch stretch position one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your box or your couch or a wall, show you how to do them both. And you're gonna put the leg that you're going after, and in this video, we're doing the left leg right now. And we're gonna hop into this high position. And with all the couch stretch positions we're gonna discuss, there's three of them, couch stretch position one, two, and three. They all go after different areas of the body. This first area is gonna go after the hip flexor. And I say that as we move through these three couch stretch positions, there's a certain flow to it. So I like to go through the flow. We're gonna hit both legs in a couple different ways, and then we'll switch legs and go through the flow again. But this first position, this is couch stretch position one. It's gonna open up the hip flexor here. We're gonna hop in this position, and we're gonna go through some pulsing in this position. So I'm here, I'm gonna pulse up, bringing my knee off the ground or off the pad and back down. If you do this on the hard ground, you can. Your knee is not gonna like you for it. I, I highly recommend getting a pad or something with cushion to it. But we're going through this and we like to go through a pulse because one of the things we don't like to do is a static stretch. Static stretching, especially if you're about to work out, actually inhibits the muscle's ability to fire. We think through some of the research that we have is that it can inhibit muscle activity by as much as 10%. That's quite a bit if you're about to do something that's you know like a max effort, like a snatch or some type of max effort movement, like you're about to go sprinting or something like that. So we want to avoid a static position. The good thing about the couch stretch is this movement is pretty dynamic the whole time. Just sitting here in this position, I'm having to be pretty active but we wanna add more activity to it so that we're not going into the static phase at all. And we're really getting blood flow going. We're opening up this hip flex. You have tight hips. If you have a tight hip on the front of your hip, it can really help you open up into extension. So we're here, we're gonna go through our 20 pulses, down, back over. And you can cut these reps down to 10 if you wanna suit that better for you. We're gonna go in, this is couch stretch position one, all about the hip flexor. Now we're gonna go into couch stretch position two. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our inside elbow we're gonna to try to get this elbow to the ground. Now what we're going after here, we're moving away from the hip flexor. We're actually going into the opposite leg and we're gonna hear the we're gonna hit the posterior side of the opposite leg. So I'll do it all on one leg. You can go through this flow pretty easily in this position. So now we're hitting the right leg. 
I'm gonna try to take my elbow to the ground, tap the ground, and then I like to rotate back to the ceiling. So not only do we have the posterior hip involved here, but we actually have some thoracic rotation, some lumbar rotation as well. We're opening up more of our body so we can prepare for whatever movement we're going into. We'll switch the legs and show you. We're in this position. Inside elbow is gonna try to get to the ground. And I'm rotating that elbow back to the ceiling using my other hand on my foot to fulcrum. And these are our 20 pulses or our 20 rotations. We're gonna go through in this position and you will feel it all in that posterior lateral hip. It's another excellent one to open you up, open your hips up for whatever movement you're getting prepared for. But this is posterior hip, whereas position one was hip flexor. Now, we're gonna go into the finale of all this. We're gonna go into couch stretch position three, which is also known as the couch pigeon. Okay, so I'm gonna take my leg, I'm gonna throw it into the pigeon position. And you can see how limited my pigeon position is. This is as much of a lateral stretch, as much of a lateral movement that I can take. So in this pigeon position, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to butterfly our knee. So I'm here, I'm gonna pulse down and come back up. Pulse down and come back up and I'm trying to get my chest as close to the ground. If you are, if you are someone and you can hit couch stretch position three you just and you're just able to lay all the way down, it's not a challenge at all, Likely you're hypermobile. This probably isn't the best stretch. You probably shouldn't be couch stretching because you're so mobile. We should focus more on stability and muscle activity for you. But in this position, we're going through that pulse as to recruit as much blood flow to the hip, get as much activation to the muscle as we possibly can. You can see the flow of all of this. So we'll go from couch stretch position one to two to three. We'll start here. We're hitting the hip flexor here on the right leg, and then after our 20 pulses, we'll dive down into couch stretch position two, where we're trying to get that elbow to the ground. Then we're gonna rotate. We can go through our 10 to 20 rotations here. And then finally, in this position, we're going after the posterior hip. And then finally, we'll dive in, and we're gonna go through that couch pigeon. We're here, we're fluttering our knee down and fluttering up. And you can see the flow. You never really have to leave the box or the couch. And then once you finish that side, you just hop up, you switch sides and move your pad around and you can dive right back into it for whatever you're trying to do. It's very easy to go through. This only takes you about three to four minutes to hit before you work out or after you're worked out. If you're trying to go through active recovery, maybe spend a little more time in each position, but you can take three to five minutes to do this. It's not hard at all. If you don't want to use a couch, if you just want to walk into the gym and hit these movements straight up, without getting anything out, you can also do that too. All you do is find a wall and you're gonna take your foot and you're gonna slide down that wall, hopefully onto a cushion surface. And now I'm all of a sudden in the couch stretch position one or wall stretch position one. And we can go through our flow from here. I can start doing my pulses on the wall, whatever I wanna do where I'm contracting that muscle. I can start going into couch stretch position two with that elbow coming to the ground. I can go through my rotations here or I can hop into couch stretch position three, that lateral pigeon. And I'm coming down here and I'm fluttering the knee in this position. One thing I will say about that last position, we want our knee at a 90 degree angle. If I'm here, you can cheat on the pigeon by pulling your foot close to you and even I can get into that pigeon position. We wanna keep the foot out. Keep a 90 degree angle at the knee. If you really want to go to an advanced version of the couch stretch position, then I'm gonna show you how you can do it with a band and a rig or a band in your door. We have another video on how to use the band on a door. All of the couch stretch positions we just went over without the band, we are elongating the muscle. We're firing through an elongated muscular position and we're creating some great mobility that we're gonna be able to use when we add movement in afterward. We've already worked out. We're getting some great muscular relief afterward. We can add a band into the mix. And all of a sudden with those active mobility positions that we've just done, we can also add in a joint mobilization or a joint mob with the muscle movement and we're gonna get more mobility out of it. We're gonna get more movement all together and that should prep us better for the movement that we're about to do. So how you can do that is you can take your band, you can run it around the rig here or on the corner of your strong door, not a flimsy door. And we can go into that first couch stretch position. I'll use my left leg. We're gonna put the band as high up onto our hip as we can. Now from here, again, if you don't wanna grab a box, if you just wanna do this on your own, you can grab your leg and all of a sudden, boom, 
I am in couch stretch position one here. I'm facing forward. And from here, I can go through my pulses. I can go through my shifts. I like to pulse in this position by kicking my leg down into my hand and back up. You can do it like this, or you can grab your box, slide it into the position. And now you are in that traditional couch stretch with the band on your hips and you can go through your pulses from here. This is couch stretch position one. If I want to go into couch stretch position two, I'm gonna switch the legs just so we can stay in the frame. But in couch stretch position two, we're here. The band is pulling laterally. Now the ideal position is to be at this perpendicular angle, maybe the band's slightly behind me and I can go through my inner elbow rotations here in couch stretch position two. So now we're, we've got this lateral joint movement in the actual hip while we have the stretch going on as well. We're just adding more mobility to the movement and hopefully we can create more muscle firing and stability around this joint by doing it this way. And then finally, keep the band in the same position and you can go through your couch stretch position three, your pigeon, I'm gonna butterfly from here. These couch stretch positions are great positions to prepare you for any movement that you're trying to go into and also to work on your mobility and stability. I gotta give a shout out to Dr. Kelly Sturett of the Ready State, used to be Mobility Wad. I remember when I first got into PT school, I found Dr. Sturett's videos in Mobility Wad and I nerded out and watched hours of them because they were so awesome. So shout out to Kelly Sturett. He is the one through YouTube introduced me to these couch stretch positions. I started using them to get into a better position for Olympic lifting. Before I started using them, I could barely really go below parallel on an overhead squat and then I hit those positions every day I hit them hard for probably about 10 to 15 minutes after all of my workouts because I didn't want to inhibit my muscle like we said earlier I did them after my workouts I did that consistently and all of a sudden I started to find those positions to have much better snatch position clean position all of those things really started and now not trying to toot my own horn but I have great mobility overhead and for those olympic lifting positions and i owe a lot of that to the start of it is using these couch stretch positions to do so so they're excellent i highly recommend you pair movements with these so if you're doing the couch stretches if you're if you're going into them i, I love pairing them with squatting squatting is just an excellent movement it uses the full breadth of your hips and these couch stretch positions are really known to open you up for squatting. If you are squatting, if you don't know how to go into a squat program, you've got to follow a program with anything strength conditioning wise. You can't just liaise fair, go in there and say, I feel like I'm going to do this today. And I'm, you know, just whatever you want to do. You need to have some metrics. You need to have something systematized to follow along. So you're consistent with it. And also you can match and see your progression as you go. We have something called the Vulcan hatch cycle. It's a five week squatting program and you can take two squats. You can do the traditional hatch squat cycle is the back squat and the front squat. You can take those same two movements. You're going to squat twice a week, both back squat and front squat, and you're going to see a progression over a five week span. It's a, it's a very short cycle. Those long cycles, 10, 12 weeks, I've seen 16 week cycles. They're so long. You, it, you feel like you're trapped in it. This is a quick cycle. You can get in, get out, and you can repeat this however many times you want to throughout the year. It's $20 and you have it for the rest of your life. You can rinse, repeat. It's, you're going to be able to put your numbers in for whatever you've hit and the sheet is automatically going to update for those percentages that you need to try to hit that day and it's also going to incentivize you to try to pr some of your movements so we see a lot of prs for people using this cycle but we'll put the link in the description for the vulcan hatch cycle check it out if you're interested and also we'll have links for everything we've used in this video if you need any of this gear from the bands to the box to the pad we'll have it all listed below you can get whatever you need those are the couch stretch positions use them to your advantage they are great mobilizing movements that allow us to mobilize and stretch without being passive. They allow us to be active the entire time. And that's the only way we can ensure that we're actually creating muscle length that we can use. And it's the only way we can ensure that we're not inhibiting muscle activity before we work out. We want all the power and the strength we can when we hit the gym. And that is what the couch stretch allows us to do. So hopefully these have helped you. If they have, let us know in the comments, how are you using the couch stretch? What movements are you going into when you're doing the couch stretches or how are you using the couch stretch for active recovery? Let us know in the comments. Guys, we post videos like this all the time. If you have any particular videos you want us to post on, let us know in the comments as well. And we'll start collecting those and making some videos for you. But all right, guys, have a great day and enhance what moves you.